Buffalo Bills TV Show by The Professionals Introduction to the Show Buffalo Bills is a television miniseries that we've developed throughout the semester. Our show is a suspense, thriller-style show that involves a corrupt manager and three unlikely partners who plan on taking him down. Let's meet the characters. The characters. James Pinkerton, general manager of Buffalo Bills Restaurant and Bar. Although good at heart, his immaturity and lack of self-control often land him in trouble. He's quick to try to cover his mistakes, no matter what the cost. Jenny Bush, the original Buffalo Bills girl. Jenny has been working for the company since the beginning and has no plans of leaving. She's kind and simple and oftentimes naive to what's going on around her. Laura Granger, witty and spunky, Laura Granger is the firecracker of the group. Although she's just a hostess, Laura knows exactly what's going on around her at all times. She's tough as nails and not afraid to speak her mind. Jimmy Miles Jimmy is a simple-minded young man who washes dishes at Buffalo Bills. Jimmy takes things a little too seriously and lives without regard for what's right and what's wrong. The Plot Buffalo Bills revolves around the plan to take James down as manager of Buffalo Bills Restaurant and Bar. Jimmy, Jenny, and Laura all team up to work together to get James fired. The story turns, though, when they find out that Jimmy has plans of his own, plans to murder. Why do this? Our inspiration to make this television show was based off the concepts we were learning throughout the semester. By creating a television show that incorporated these concepts, we were better able to connect our learning with something that would be fun and something that would stick. Target Audience Our target market is anyone aged 17 to 45 who enjoys suspense and thriller styles of television. Our target market will be people who are in the workforce and the business-minded viewer will pick up on our management concepts as they are presented. Our target audience is anyone who would like to enjoy a television show that also teaches them skills and gives them knowledge that may translate into their everyday lives. Our television format. The format of our television show will be a mini-series. Rather than trying to stretch the show into a four or five season show, we'd like to pack all of the action into six special episodes. <clears throat> we believe this will be hook viewers and keep them coming back for more. The quick pace will resonate with viewers who are sick of the normal series which has slow parts to stretch the episodes out. With success of this format, we may be able to use the viewers' knowledge of the series to create another miniseries that will have a following simply because it's created by the same producer. How did we make connections? You may be wondering how we accomplish connecting the text in our episodes. Well, two of our favorite episodes were episode 3 and episode 4. To give you an idea of how we managed to accomplish this, here's what we did during those episodes. Episode 3 In episode 3, Jenny and Laura have to figure out how to stop Jimmy while making, still making sure that James gets fired. We see them use organizational structure throughout the episode to calm their nerves and develop a game plan for accomplishing both goals. While discussing what to do, Laura uses organizational structure to break their problems down into smaller issues and form solutions for their issues one by one. Episode 4 In Episode 4, the girls meet with Jimmy to have him discuss his plans to take care of James. During this episode, we see the girls record Jimmy as he lays out his plan for revenge. This episode focuses on the connection to the moral rights approach. Laura and Jenny would like nothing more than for Jimmy to take care of James, but they know that it's not morally acceptable for them to let him do it, so they record his plan to reveal to the police. What do we think of management? Well, it's been a long semester, learning about management and the way it works, but our group has come to these three conclusions about management. Management is always changing. 
From day to day, it evolves in order to meet the needs of the operation. It's constantly being perfected. Management is different depending on the situation. Managing a restaurant is very different than managing a Fortune 500 company. No matter what you're managing, you need to be 100% knowledgeable in the field. Knowledge breeds success in management, and you can never have enough. What did we learn? Throughout the semester, we learned many things about management, like types of approaches, how to motivate, and how to be a leader, not just a manager. We've learned all that we need in to all that we need to in order to become managers one day in our fields. More importantly though, we've learned how to be a professional team. This is possibly the most important thing to take away from this project and college in general. Recommendations. If we had to do the project again, we would make these three changes or recommendations. Open the lines of communication early or you'll wish you had. Without communication, you cannot succeed doing this project. Look over future assignments ahead of time and develop a game plan before you get caught behind. Always have a backup plan in case of emergencies. Technology fails and accidents happen. Prepare for the worst and expect the best. The end. We hope you had as much fun learning about our project as we did making it.